Uh, dear farmers, uh, thank you so much um, for always following work done by uh, Robrand Holdings Limited and uh, Robrand Farms and myself. I want to thank our viewers in Zimbabwe, our viewers in uh, uh, Kenya, our viewers in Tanzania, our viewers in South Africa, our viewers in Ghana, our viewers in Canada, our viewers in Uganda, our viewers in Tanzania and everywhere all over the world that are watching our videos you are doing something great and you are inspiring us to um keep doing this and keep um giving you more and more and more information my information is always educative and advisory to um the farmers out there and whoever is interested in investing um or has already invested in the livestock um uh, sector uh today uh, someone asked me a question about um hair production and that's why I came uh, to show you how we are doing it out here where I'm standing is a, a planted Krolis Guyana garden which is being harvested for uh, uh, hair, hair production you can see the this grass has been cut and when you see it, it's pure Acrolis uh, Diana. It has, it has grown that tall, it had grown that tall, uh, and you can see. There is uh, my friend here who is the harvesting uh, with me, uh, and that is how he's doing it. He's cutting using a panga and uh, a stick. So, come and harvest here. Come and harvest here. So that's how we are harvesting. Uh, the place is not is not quite uh, quite big. Uh, these are 2.5 acres here. I have this uh, gentleman and uh, another on the other side cutting. So <coughs> what we are doing is harvesting hay, and this is a planted field. This is actually is on the farm. We are harvesting our hay on the farm. Uh, the silage. Uh, band is just here and we have a heap of manure here so what we are going to do is after harvesting we are going now to let our grass uh, dry a bit and then we remove it and put it in a bun and then the team is going to add manure when you add manure into this crawlies it will eventually uh, grow very well as if it has never been um, uh, cut before. So um, I'm going to show you where we have uh, already harvested and the grass is, is kind of dry. So the team is going to come. Now you see this one was cut in the morning and uh, yeah, it is, it is kind of dry. By tomorrow evening it will be ready. I hope we don't get rain. Normally when uh, you get rain after cutting silage like hay, uh, it normally disturbs the, the quality of our, our hay. So it is very important to plant grass for hay production on the farm. And uh, you enjoy having feeds all the time. My hay is, was getting done. But you see, so I'm already harvesting now and we, we still have the rains so immediately the team is going after is going to add the uh, manure and then we are very good to go by january we shall be cutting again and that is the importance of having crawlis guyana on the farm yes someone asked a question if you are going to use the planted grass or any other grass to make hay and my answer is it depends on uh, the grass we do not want to make, uh, preserve, um, and put in money to cut and preserve grass that is not nutritious to our animals or that is not going to give us results. Because when we are choosing the grass to promote for hair production, for silage production for our animals, there are factors that we look into. And some of those factors are uh, nutritional content, um, growth, the ability to grow, Digestibility, the ability to release the nutrients to um, 
the animals and also the palatability how sweet it is is it to the animals so we have got to consider that and uh, that's why we have to plant grass for silage production for hay and silage production but if you have good grass some areas have got very good giant pa good panicum very good bracalia which is not planted eventually which was there long time ago so you just weed that and make sure it has no uh, unpalatable shrubs and then you cut it and, and preserve it so my whatsapp is always open you can take a picture and send if i see it is a good grass we are good to go we can actually just cut and make uh, hay out of it uh, whatsoever so but this is planted well cared for uh crawlis Guyana garden at our farm here and it's, it's, it's looking very nice when it is uh, not actually cut. You may need to, uh, you can follow me. You may need to look at the, how, how this grass uh, looks like. This is what has been cut here. <laughs> you may need to look at um, how it looks like when it is uh, still standing. It's a very nice crop out, to, out here of uh, across the inner garden. This is how it looks like before we are, we are cutting it down and this is how beautiful it is and has been in this area for uh, more than two and a half years here in the city county so it is just a matter of caring for it you care for it you weed it and you're able to keep producing uh, uh, hay so we are going to cut after cutting we are going to add manure and i'm going to be happy to show you how it will be looking i want to thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and invite friends who are interested into the livestock production sector to come and join this uh, family. We are able to teach each other, we are able to learn from each other. If there is a video, uh, a topic that you want us to cover, uh, talk about that you think is going to be beneficial to those people that are starting, all those that already have the farms, uh, we are open. Please drop in uh, the comment section and we are able to follow that up and make uh, that video for you. Thank you so much.